Good afternoon, everyone, and happy TGIF Day, December 30th, 2022, and this is officially my 1500th video upload, even though I've uploaded over at least the ones that are public. I, today is officially 1500 for me, because if they're private, there's a reason why they're private. But I wanted to thank everyone um, for tuning in and sharing my thoughts um, on life and uh, my journey, um, my faith walk. It's been rewarding. Um, it's been emotional um, to think that I, it all began with my Princess Harley um, praying for her to live. And I got nine more months out of it. it speaks volumes for calls to Jesus. So I want to thank YouTube for this free platform to use my voice for the greater good, even though there's always going to be those out there that are going to try to be joy stealers. Well, he heard you. So my advice is to repent and be more like Jesus. And that's what I try to strive for every day. So this YouTube channel to me is the gift that keeps on giving because every hit is a call to Jesus. Anybody that looks at it is a call to Jesus. That's why I named it Nat 333 after Jeremiah 333. So to think that my 1500th video, I'm in the process of recording as I speak, is going to be about gifts. Have you ever received a gift that you haven't earned? Or received a gift that was too much? My first recollection of that was when I was in high school. I received a necklace from a gentleman, a guy that I dated for a few days. And it was too much, and I gave it back. He was so upset, he egged my mother's house. I was honest. It was too much. I I just started dating the guy and to, to give me jewelry was excessive. I thought it was quite excessive. And through the years, I received a lot of gifts. Gifts that were surprised, gifts that were earned. But have you ever received a gift that you didn't earn and you felt guilty? keeping a gift or a gift was given to somebody else and that gift wasn't intended for you. So at some point in your life, you got that gift that wasn't for you given to someone else or you give it back. You don't keep it for yourself. And those that are keeping gifts that they didn't earn should be giving those gifts back, especially those of excessive value. They aren't going to bring you joy if when you received it, you knew you did some wrong to those people that give you a gift. It's truly amazing when I think back at all the gifts that I've given and how I was deceived along the way, yet not knowing I was deceived, I gave these people that certainly weren't worthy of receiving a gift. It's unreal when you really start looking at your life in a whole different light. When you flick the switch off to man's tyranny, and you flip it on to God's heavenly graces. Every day I walk in sunshine. Every day I wake up, I'm happy because it gives me another day to use my voice for the greater good. And this being my 1500th video speaks volumes of, of my walk. And it's not perfect. No one's life is perfect, but I've left it out there for scrutiny 
to be ridiculed, hoping that those people that do feel the need to ridicule with their scrutiny look long and hard in the mirror at themselves first. I've always been transparent my life. I've, I've dated guys that thought I overshared about my life. And I said, I've got nothing to hide. If I speak about someone and they're not present, I will say exact same words to that person, to their face. That's who I've always been. Everybody's always known where they stood with Natalie because I'm never silent when there's wrongdoings involved. I haven't lived a perfect life. But I've learned along the way things that I will not repeat from my past in my present or my future. Because my life now, I, I work for him. I don't work for man's tyranny, nor do I ever want to work for that ever again. I want to work for him, and I want to know when he calls me home, I have done the job that he sent me here to do. Do you know that job that he sent you here to do? With your gifts that you've been given? It took me a while to get here, but I'm so grateful and thankful that I finally saw the light amidst the darkness. And it's really interesting. I was watching, I don't know if it was a YouTube or a movie or whatnot, but it talked about hope. And I thought, quite fitting, hope begins when you stand in the dark, looking out and see the light. And that's so true. And unfortunately, those people that walk in the darkness with the enemy can't handle the light that's in front of them, which it could be me, it could be you, it could be somebody that you know, walking in the light of God. So if you've received a gift that you haven't earned, or do you think it's too much, gracefully give it back or don't accept it. If you took it or not, not took it, accepted it, and don't want to hurt their feelings. You need to tell them why that gift was not earned. But hey, that's just me. And on my 1500th video, every day is a gift. That he wakes me up. He gives me a voice. Despite head pain. Despite my temperature being in the hypothermia level daily. It's a gift. I think life on earth is a gift every day as Reese's continues on yet another bonus day. So I hope you guys think about what I've said. You think about those gifts that you've given and received. It's not just about one day out of the year. It's about every day of the year. Love to all bunches and bunches. Bye now.